excited about this. So all summer long, I've been showing you guys how to make uh, the incredible, the delicious uh, Terramana Monaritas. Uh, we've made various drinks over the course of the summer, various ingredients, various tastes. They've all been the drinks of the summer, uh, which you guys have loved. Now, as summer's over and we start getting into the fall and the winter months, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some incredible uh, fall drinks, of course, including Terramana, and, um, and you're gonna enjoy them, and here we go. So the first one up for the fall is gonna be a fresh orchard apple monorita, and this one tastes incredible. Now, the first thing we're gonna need is um, a shaker cup, a little bit of ice. Let's go with a little bit of lime juice. The recipe calls for about three quarters of an ounce, but really it's up to you. There we go. Next up, fresh apple juice. There we go. Next up after that will be pure agave syrup. Just a dash. There we go. All right, on to the main event, the stars of the show. Uh, so all summer long with the Monaritas, we have used the Termana Blanco. And Termana Blanco is, it's delicious, it's fresh, it has a crispness to it. But as we get into the fall and the winter months, I prefer going with the Reposado. Reposado is my favorite anyway, but I like um, the Terramana. I like the Terramana have a bit more, some weight to it. And one of the cool things about our Terramana is not only do we use the most maturest of agave, everything is handmade, everything is handcrafted. We then from the agave, we put it in, we, uh, we slow roast in our brick oven for days. Then from there, a little bit of magic sauce. We, uh, we one of our finishing processes is to take it through the, take the Terramana through the, um, the handmade, very small copper pot stills. And then from there, what we do is we age the reposado in these oak barrels down in Mexico. And the oak, when it expands because of the weather down there in the Jalisco Mountains in Mexico, it really absorbs, the, 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 the reposado absorbs that, that oak scent and that oak note and that oak flavor with a little bit of vanilla. So uh, I would recommend Terramana Reposado for your fresh orchard apple monorita. And as always, I wanted to create Terramana not only to bring people together, but I also wanted it to be an experience from the time you received the bottle, from the time you, you bought the bottle, you bought it home, then you opened it. And this is what I mean. Ah, beautiful sound. <laughs> Cheers. Here we go. You want to shake it up? Glass with ice. And you're not going to be able to get it off. My hands are too wet. <laughs> I'm committed. Here we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ah, you're like, damn, Rock, I thought you were strong. I am. You ripped off a gate. I did. <laughs> Almost broke my wrist when I did that, by the way. Uh, not my finest hour. Anyway, here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Fresh Orchard Apple Monorita. Finish it off with an apple slice. And one more thing. As we go into the fall, for the Terramana Apple Monorita, a little bit of a cinnamon stick. All right, I raised this Terramana toast to all of you guys out there. And um, every time I do this, um, I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment just to say thank you guys so much for enjoying and loving your Terramana and truly making Terramana uh, not only an amazing experience for you, your friends, your family, uh, but also you turned us into the fastest growing tequila, the most exciting tequila, the most delicious, I'm a little biased, um, and the smoothest tequila in the land. So this one's to you. I thank you, uh, love to you and your families. Most importantly, stay healthy and uh, enjoy your mom. That's delicious. Mm. 
Have a productive week.